20, 20 year um, term with, uh, I believe it was State Farm. And uh, just like you said, on the 21st year, um, it skyrocketed to $550 a month. Um, so uh, they also had a primary policy. I came in as a second reviewer because they didn't trust the person who sold it to them. Sure. And I confirmed the first person, and then I set up the the uh, then I set up the investments. Good it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but now, my you, now you do know you could also increase the coverage. You get paid for it, right? Did you know that? Yeah. It doesn't matter who wrote it up before. That has nothing to do with it. If let me tell you why it's important. Most people never buy what they need because they always skip, oh, I don't know what it forward. is. They skip out on what they really need. If they might say need about half a million, they buy 200. So if I wanted to go see a family and they had 200,000 and I did their F and A or you know I did the 10 times their income annual income rule, yeah, I would encourage them to have a little bit more coverage and I would do a policy change and I would add it. I would add coverage. But anyway, what else were you gonna say? Yeah. So uh, this is actually the second the second uh, term insurance that I ran into, and it doesn't disclose that much as far as um, like terminal illness and things like that. So my question is this: like when, when you're talking to them about ours is better because of this. Uh, do you or do you just go that way or do you also like look for it in theirs? Bottom line is a great question. I've only seen it in one policy. It was a MetLife one. Mm -hmm. It was back in 09. And you're gonna this is weird, man. This girl was this lady was paying three hundred and twenty five dollars a month on life insurance and hundred and seventy five dollars a month was just for a rider to have the terminal illness benefit. Okay. Horrible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ours is complimentary. So, wow. yeah, I would look at the policy. I, I've never seen one besides that one. And again, it was like a arm and a leg monthly ride, 175 bucks, just to have that opportunity, which ours is free. Um, I would just look at the policy. They probably don't have it. Okay. Let me tell you why they wouldn't have it. it it's a lot of risk for the company. It really is. Yeah. So most policies are cheap. Uh, they're cheap price, but they're also cheap in, in quality. And okay. Like value. Right. Anybody else? All right, guys. I guess. No, I was just gonna say that's what you lose from the, the house. The house, yeah. Keep it simple. I mean, you can still have. Years ago but you can, house. yeah. That's what we did back then. As a matter of fact, this closing the house the yesterday. Oldest, uh, <laughs> when I was uh, with Jim and I had just started, I uh, didn't have fancy brochures. I didn't even know we had a publishing company until like a year after I joined the business. Jim never told me that was a publishing company. I didn't know you could order brochures. I was doing everything on a yellow, on a yellow leaf yeah. pad. I found out a year later. Jim was an A. He was not a S. Mm -hmm. So he never ordered anything. So I didn't even know. I mean, everything was through him. Don't get me wrong. I love Jim. But today, you get on POL, you can know more than your leader does, which is a good thing. I, I want right. you to, you know, I'm going to override you. I could care less that you know more than I do, man. Mm -hmm. Have at it, right? <laughs> this one, this one was <laughs> this one was Daniel. Uh, Daniel, listen, um, we show people uh, how to have the four fundamentals when it comes to money. Okay. One is 